Good morning. This class is for ballet two. I know you guys have been feeling neglected because I've been sticking you in with beginning ballet and ballet one, but now that things have calmed down and I'm more into a schedule, I can do a class just for you. So follow along and we will get going on our class. We're gonna start with plies as we always do. Two demi plies in first position and a grand plie in first position, cambrai forward and back. Second position, two demi plies and a grand plie in second position, cambrai forward and back. Fifth position, two demi plies and a releve Cambrai to the bar and away from the bar, and the same in fourth with a releve. Okay, so things to keep in mind about plies. We have to keep our heels on the floor in demi-plie. We have to make sure that we keep ourselves with a straight back when we do our grand plies. We can't bend forward, right? Knees over toes. We worked a little bit having a um, piece of tape on our knees facing the sides before we stop. So think about that, because that's really important to keep those knees over those toes. You have to picture that in your head and push those knees back. All right, so we're going to start in first position, left hand on the bar, and we'll do two demi plies and a grand plie, forward and back. First position. And six, and arm seven, and eight, and demi plie one, and pull it up.
time do front and close, time do front and close. Now take a demi plie, stay in the demi plie, reach that leg out, bring it back in, push that floor down, you stretch your knees. On quad, which you know means the shape of a cross. Time to side, close back, time to side, close front, demi plie, reach that leg out, but you stay here. Okay, you don't go with your leg. Demi plie and stretch. Time to back and fifth, time to back and fifth, demi plie, time to back, demi plie, stretch. On quad, side, side, plie, time to plie, stretch. We'll come right forward and back, and we'll do one more plie, time to front, and pique. Now, that knee has to stay straight. This knee has to push. Push up to that susu, okay? And everything arrives, the arms, the head, everything arrives at the same time, okay? And we'll hold that susu balance, all right? Two tandus front, plie, tandu, plie, push that floor down. Right leg is in front in fifth position. I'm starting to get warmed up, hope you are. Five and six and seven and eight. Tandu front, close fifth, tandu front, close fifth, demi plie, tandu plie, push that floor down. And tandu side, close back. Tommy. 
three times. And then take your hands off the bar and press releve and find that balance without having to put your hand back on the bar, without moving your feet. Nice and strong little balance there. All right? First position.
to the bottom. Let's take our arm down to low fifth, to, sorry, low in first position, and close. Now you're doing all that comp right. Straight. 
to Tandu Sai, and I find you to the back to Tandu, and I find you to Pase. Everything. Remember, the important thing about a fondue is that your knees bend and straighten at the same time. It is a coordination exercise. It's to make sure your muscles are all moving in the same, going towards the same thing at the same time, which eventually will be big jumps, grunt leg roll, big grand jetés, tour jetés, and all sorts of things. So we want to make those fondues coordinated. So make sure that when you plie, your knees are as bent as they can get, keeping your knees over your toes. And when you straighten, your legs are perfectly straight, exactly the same moment. All right, fondue to tongue front, to the side, to the back, passe, front side back, and we'll do a tollier, I think. So the second time, and tollier to the other side, and then we'll reverse the other side. Fifth position, right leg front. And six, tongue side, seven, and eight. And fondue one, lift up and point, and knees to side, straight together. To the back. This one goes to passe. Straight up the back. And fondue. To the front. And fondue. To the side. And fondue. To the back. And this one's going to go tallier. Other side. And fondue one. Up. <clears throat> and fondue. And point. And fondue. To the back. Yeah. 
position. Stretch, fondue, and up, up, plie, and stretch, and fondue, and up, up, plie, the position, stretch, and fondue, last one. Close fit to the back and tongue. 
much this side is so important that we don't see this. I don't see the front of your leg, I don't see your hip up. Okay, but I go through that good tendu and I bring my heel forward. All right? So important to do it that way. Second side. Left leg in front. Thank you. 
Okie doke. I hope you enjoyed your ballet class. Outside, it's a little bit warmer today, or this weekend is going to be absolutely beautiful, I think. Go outside and, chasse, and practice your chasse ton levé and arabesque. Chasse and step jump, and chasse and step jump. Go on the diagonal. Think about going in a circle that you make perfect each time, because that's one of the things we wanted to do when we were in, in class. Make our chasse ton levé and arabesque in a circle. So think about those things. You can practice spotting, you can practice your chenets outside. Probably not in the house, not a good idea. Don't want to knock anything over. But outside, you can practice your chenets. Make sure you spot really, really well and keep your legs straight. And remember, we talk about chenets having very small steps, yeah? Not big, big ones. All right? I hope to see you pretty soon, and have a great day. Bye-bye.